Hello, my name is Kishore. I am a software development engineer at Amazon. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up and run the SP API listings sample application. The aim of this app is to illustrate how to use Selling Partner API to create six common listing workflows using a simple UI. All these workflows are documented in Building Listings Management Workflows Guide of the SP API documentation. This app is built using the React and TypeScript and it uses the Material UI for the UI components. The README file in the GitHub provides instructions on how to run this app. I will walk through this README file to show how to configure and run this app successfully. The prerequisite section in the README file explains the basic requirements to run this app. The first step mentions to download and install a latest browser. I already installed latest version of the Chrome browser in my laptop. If you do not have a latest browser, please download and install one. The second step mentions to install Node.js. My laptop uses the Mac OS. So I click this link, which takes me to the Node.js downloads page. Click the Mac OS installer to download the installer and run it. If you run this app in Windows, click on the Windows installer and run it. If you run this app in a Unix or Linux based computer, then click this link, choose a choose your OS variant and follow the instructions for the installation through a package manager. The third step mentions to install Git. The instructions to install Git varies by the operating system. My laptop runs on the Mac OS. So I click this link to install the homebrew using a simple command. And after that, I run the command brew install git for the installation. For the Windows operating system, click on this link and then click again on this link to download the installer and run it. For the Unix or Linux operating systems, click on this link and choose your OS variant and then follow these commands for the installation. The fourth step mentions to install the AWS CLI. For the Mac operating system, click on this link to download the installer directly. For the Windows, click on this link to download the installer directly. For the Unix or Linux operating systems, it takes multiple steps for the installation. Click this link and expand the Linux section for the detailed instructions. The fifth step mentions the requirement of an AWS account. I have already created a new AWS account for this demo. If you have not created a new AWS account, then click this link to create a free AWS account. The next three steps mention requirement of a selling partner application with authorization from a professional seller or vendor account. I already created a private selling partner application. It has access to the product listing role. I have not authorized the app yet. I will authorize it later. You can click this link to learn more about how the authorization work. Let's move to the next section, which is how to run the app. The first step asks to check out the Selling Partner API samples repo. So let's use this command to clone the Git repo. Let's go into this folder. Let's run this command. So this command installs all the node modules necessary to run this app. The fourth step mentions to follow the instructions in configure the AWS CLI section. So let us go to this configure the AWS CLI section. Let us first create an IAM policy. Open the, open the AWS console and go to this IAM console. Click on policies 
and click on create policy click this JSON copy the policy here and paste it over here click Save click Next choose some policy name so in this case I will just randomly name as SPAP listing your policy click Create Policy now let us create an IAM user click Create User let us say the username is SPAP listing app user click next click attach policies directly search for the policy that we have created click next click uh, create user now we have created the IAM user as well let us create access keys for this IAM user <coughs> Click on security credentials tab, click on uh, create access key, click on CLI and just acknowledge all these recommendations. Click create access key, download the CSV file, click done. So now we have downloaded the, downloaded the access keys as a CSV file. Let's go to the terminal and let us try to configure the AWS CLA run this command AWS configure it asks you to enter the AWS access key ID let us uh, open the access keys file copy the access key ID Now we have configured the AWS CLI. Let's move back to the previous section. So we run this command to build the app. Meanwhile, I'll copy the next command as well. The build is successful. Now let us uh, run the app. The app server was started. Let us access the app through localhost colon 3000 this is the home page of the app so the home button here allows you to take you to the home page each of the six buttons to the right of the home button represent a different listing workflow the home page provides instructions on how to navigate across the app how to configure the settings and gives a brief overview of each listing workflow in the app before you access the listing workflows, you must configure the app settings. Click on the settings gear icon to go to the settings page. The detailed instructions on how to configure the settings are available in the readme file. So let us go to those instructions. Let us enter the AWS account ID. Next, uh, next, let us enter the LWA credentials. Go to the App and Services Develop Apps page and click on uh, View link here. Copy the client identifier. Paste that into the client ID. Copy the client secret, paste that over here. Now let's click on this authorize action. Click on authorize app. Paste into the refresh token. Let's copy this merchant token, paste it over here. Because I'm using selling part, seller account, uh, the selling partner ID was merchant account ID. Let 
let's go to the marketplace i guess for usa the marketplace id is this let's paste that over here and let's open this as pay endpoints for us the aws region was us east one the region is already chosen as us east one now let us click save to purchase the settings the settings are saved successfully now let us verify the app works properly let us go to this section in the readme file let's click on the create listing button let's type the word share the app has successfully made a call to the SP API. In this case, the app successfully invoked the search definitions product type API and here is the API request and response, which means the app is working properly. Congratulations, now you are ready to use the app. This is all I had for you today. Hope you find this useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more SP API videos and happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.